Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. I'm gonna show you some tricks in Photoshop with the brush tool. We're gonna mix it up the brush colors a little more. As you can see, we had a lot of colors going on in the brush. Uh, so yeah, let's jump in. First thing, make sure to create a black background because these colors pop really good on dark backgrounds. So let's select the bla black. And as you can see here, the paint bucket tool, just click on the layer and there you go. I'm gonna create a new layer here and I'm gonna paint on this one. So first we need two colors. I'm gonna click on the black and select the color. I'm gonna go with, I don't know, yellow and... Okay, seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna test this out. Might be too light a little. So anyways, you gotta go to the brush. I'm gonna go with hard round pressure size because I'm gonna draw with the tablet and go to the brush settings. If you don't have it, then go to windows and select the brush settings. Okay, so you should activate the color dynamics, which is located right here. So we got the first thing here, the foreground background jitter. Okay, I'm gonna increase this to around 15%, 10, 15 and let's draw. So as you can see, this is just a white line so far. This is because we got the purity on uh, minus 100. This indicates the saturation of the color. If you pull it on minus 100, it's gonna be black and white. If you turn on on plus 100%, then it's gonna be super strong, the color. So I'm gonna go around. I can actually turn on to plus 10 because right now these are kind of soft. So now I can draw. See that? So, uh, because it's on 14%, if I don't press it too much, then it's going to be somewhere around yellow. See that? Then if I start pressing it, it's going to turn into more green. I'm going to increase the foreground background. Let's see around 50%. See that? Now it start to, starts to separate the colors more and more. I also want to do go back to the brush tip shape and we got the spacing on five percent so if i go down to one percent and i'm gonna try to draw like this actually i'm gonna increase the brush a little more see that the distance between the circles is like super low it's like barely touching each other which looks beautiful and now i'm gonna add more spacing Okay, I'm gonna go back to the color dynamics and let's go with the hue jitter. Let's see what happens here. It starts to add more colors, um, of course, which are in the green and yellow space because it's not adding any other kind of colors. So I'm not, I'm not pushing it here. I'm pushing it here. So uh, yeah. The colors are more vivid in this zone and this 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 zone is like more uh faded a little a little bit more pastel uh saturation jitter what is that all right so far i like the default setting where you know i didn't turn off on the saturation or the brightness and so on you know the saturation and the hue and the foreground is on zero see this it's so beautiful uh, I'm going to also go down to zero, I mean 1% with this. And I got to... Sweet! All right, so this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't for If you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And check out the other videos also. Have a good one. Bye-bye.